Today we're having a look at one of my favorite one-shot color cameras from ZWO. It's the 533 MC Pro. Hey folks, my name's Steve and welcome to Scotia Astro. Well, it's absolutely lashing down here in Scotland, so no chance of any Astro adventures tonight. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to share my experiences with you in using this cool wee dedicated Astro camera. This video might be useful to those looking to upgrade their camera from a DSLR, or if you want to use it as I do, as a secondary camera for another rig. I've been imaging with the 533 MC Pro for about 18 months now, so it's not a new camera, but I love it. And it's got some great features and unique properties that you may be interested in too. So let's have a look. If you want to see more gear review videos like this one, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. I'll be focusing on the main practical features that attracted me to this camera, but if you want a more in-depth look at its specs, I'll link to the ZWO website in the description below the video. The ZWO 533MC Pro is a cooled one-shot color camera which can capture some stunning details. I've used it to capture some nice images of different galaxies and other deep sky targets. You can frame up loads of targets really easily with its square sensor, and I've used it with a combination of telescopes. Stick around until the end of the video where I'll share some images that I've taken with the 533MC. The 533 has a resolution of 9 megapixels, but what makes it unique from other cameras is that these pixels are spread over a 1 inch square sensor. Many other traditional sensors like the APS-C one I have in my larger ZWO 2600MC Pro are rectangular, so this camera gives you a unique field of view. This is one of the main features that made me grab this camera, and I get some great punched in views of many targets of our night sky. The ability to cool the camera to a specific temperature is great for reducing noise in your images, and like many other ZWO cameras, the 533MC Pro has this feature. It can be cooled to 35 degrees below ambient, so you can adapt this to fit in with your conditions at home. Here in the UK, I usually run the camera between 0 and minus 10 degrees, and that's worked well for me. The camera comes in a nice secure padded bag, which is really nice for making sure your precious gear is protected. It also comes with a range of spacers to fit your imaging train, and a quick guide manual. The ZWO website provides a handy guide too for achieving the correct back focus to suit the majority of imaging requirements. You also get some cables to connect the camera to your equipment. I tend to connect mine to the ASA Air Pro where I can control all of the camera features like cooling right from my iPad. On the back of the camera, there's a variety of ports to connect your camera to loads of different accessories. There's two USB 2.0 ports, which I use to connect my ZWO electronic autofocuser and I also use the USB 3.0 port to connect my 533 to the ASI Air Pro, but you can also use this to connect it to a desktop or a laptop. There's also a 12 volt DC power port for connecting the camera to power supplies, and this leads me to one of the downsides of the camera. Although it's vital to have one to run the 533MC Pro, especially the cooling feature, the camera actually doesn't include a power supply with it. ZWO isn't the only company which does this, but it can be a frustration, especially if this is your first dedicated Astro camera. Although they're not overly expensive, it's another thing you'll have to factor in when considering your budget. Check out the links below the video where you can see the power units that I use for my dedicated Astro cameras. For those of you who love specs, the 533MC Pro includes a huge list of stats, which I won't go into here, as the minutiae of camera specs could be a whole other video in itself. Luckily for us though, the folks over at OPT have a whole video on it, which I'll link up above. In practical terms though, the features that I care most about are the camera's great sensitivity, low read noise, and the fact that I don't have to deal with any amp glow in my images. So let's take a closer look at these. The 533 has a Sony back illuminated CMOS sensor, which improves the camera's sensitivity and noise reduction capabilities. This results in cleaner final images, so it's a win for us astrophotographers. You can read more about the benefits of backlit sensors over frontlit sensors on the ZWO website. The lack of amp glow is another practical benefit to increase efficiency when processing your images. Some CMOS sensors have a faint spill off of light, usually seen in the corners of your images, which is known as amp glow. You can see this most clearly on your dark calibration frames. It's not a major issue as these can be calibrated out during processing, but we're always looking for ways to make this hobby easier, right? I'll admit to being very lucky as both my dedicated Astro cameras don't suffer from amp glow, but it's a nice bonus feature if you're considering the 533. As a one-shot color camera, the 533MC Pro gives you additional benefits which might suit your imaging style. For me here in the UK, we rarely get a consistent run of clear nights, so I try and capture an image in one go over the course of one night or maybe two. As it's a one-shot color camera, the 533MC lets me do this, so I can get some nice results in a short time. To enhance my results and tease out as much detail as possible, I use a variety of filters with the 533, like the Optolong L Extreme dual band filter, this filter isolates the hydrogen, alpha, and oxygen 3 signals, 
which are great for many deep sky nebula targets. For broadband targets where I want to capture a target in its natural colors, like some galaxies, I use the IDAS light pollution suppression filter. If my sky conditions allow it, I'll also go filter free. But with this camera, at least you have options. So who's the 533MC Pro for? I'm always wary of using the term budget option as this is obviously different for everyone. But if you're looking to take a leap into the world of the dedicated astro camera, or you're looking for a second one shot color camera, in my opinion, the 533MC Pro is a nice way to go, but there's definitely cheaper options. I like that I can capture nice images of a variety of targets from my backyard here in Scotland with low noise, high resolution, no amp glow, and a choice of filters. I also like the square sensor for framing and the ability to cool the camera to a specific temperature. The fact that I can use this camera on different types of telescopes is also handy, as it gives me some options when deciding on what target to shoot. Its compact size compared to other cameras is a bonus for keeping the weight of your imaging trains as light as possible. Some things to consider are obviously the extra expense of getting a power unit to use the camera, and the square sensor might actually be an issue for you, but that's subjective obviously. Do you have the 533? Are you considering it? Do you have an alternative that you'd like to share? I'd love to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comments below. If you have any questions too, please feel free to ask. I'm sure you'd like to see some images now, so I'll stop prattling on, but before I go, I just want to thank you all for joining me for this wee review, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Take care of yourselves, best wishes from Scotland, and clear skies to you all.